Hello everyone, today we will discuss about vitamin D. Physiologically active form of vitamin D is known as 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol which is also known as calcitriol. It is 100 times more potent than 25-hydroxycholecalciferol. Target organs for the action of vitamin D, they are bones, kidneys and intestine and half-life is about 10 hours. Now, formation of calcitriol or vitamin D. Precursor of vitamin D that is present in the skin that is in the form of 7-dehydrocholesterol you can see here in this diagram this one and when ultraviolet rays of the sun they fall this 7-dehydrocholesterol that is converted into cholecalciferol here that is vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is also present in the diet. Dietary sources of vitamin D3 they are fish, fish liver oil, egg yolk etc. And daily requirement of vitamin D that is about 400 international unit or 10 microgram. Vitamin D is fat soluble vitamin and therefore its absorption is mediated by bile salts. Now this cholecalciferol or vitamin D3 that is converted into you can see here in the diagram 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol and this conversion takes place in the liver with the help of enzyme 25 hydroxylase you can see here in this diagram this 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol is further converted into 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol in the kidney with the help of enzyme 1 alpha hydroxylase you can see here activated by parathyroid hormone you can see here 1 alpha hydroxylase is activated by parathyroid hormone okay. now continuous exposure not produce vitamin D toxicity because it causes conversion of vitamin D into inactive products like Lumisterol and tachysterol. You can see here this diagram also shows conversion of vitamin D and formation of active form here. Vitamin D itself also regulates its own secretion. How? It is by direct negative feedback effect. Vitamin D itself you can see here when it is synthesized it itself inhibits its own synthesis. You can see here from 25 hydroxycholecalciferol 125 dihydroxycholecalciferol is produced and when it itself increases it in turn decreases its own secretion and direct positive feedback effect on formation of inactive compound that is 24-25 dihydroxycholecalciferol and vitamin D also autoregulate its own secretion by increasing plasma calcium level. Now, mechanism of action, vitamin D acts through gene expression. You can see here because it is steroid, so it can easily pass through the cell membrane. It can enter inside the cell and it has intracellular receptor and it acts on the genetic expression. Now, let us discuss various actions of vitamin D. Mainly, it regulates plasma level of calcium and phosphate and through action on the intestine bone and kidney now starting with action on the intestine you can see here in the intestine it increases calcium permeability at the brush border of intestine how by change in the membrane phospholipids so that is first action second action you can see here in this diagram it increases synthesis of calcium dependent atps and this helps to pump calcium ions out of the cell third action it also acts on the nuclei of intestinal epithelial cells and it increases production of messenger rna and this messenger rna in turn increases synthesis of calcium binding protein you can see here in this diagram cal binding and this cal binding increases facilitated transport of calcium ions and also it promotes entry of calcium into the subcellular organelle now here is the summary you can see a vitamin d changes membrane phospholipid 
and which in turn increases calcium permeability that is first action second action it increases calcium dependent atps so calcium pumping increases third it acts on the nuclei of intestinal epithelial cells and it increases formation of cal binding that is third action and fourth it increases entry of calcium in the subcellular organelle now next action that is action on the bones it increases bone resorption by increasing parathyroid hormone calcitriol has its receptor on the osteoblast and when calcitriol binds with the osteoblast this receptor calcitriol complex that is present on the surface of osteoblast and they stimulate recruitment differentiation and fusion of precursors into osteoclast so they increase osteoclast and this osteoclast they cause bone resorption so this calcitriol acts on the bones and it stimulates the activity of osteoblast and this osteoblast in turn in increases the activity of osteoclast now osteoclast what are the reaction they mobilize calcium from the bones and this is by increasing active transport of calcium out of the osteoblast into the extracellular fluid same way it also increases the exit of phosphate and therefore it increases phosphate concentration so you can say calcitriol maintains level of calcium and phosphate and calcium phosphate ion product that remains in the normal range by bone resorbing action this iron product is very important for bone calcification also now another action it is also important for bone mineralization or you can say it is important for bone formation how because it stimulates osteoblast also it has alkaline phosphatase like activity and also it increases osteoclastin synthesis and this is the reason when vitamin d is lacking there is defective mineralization of cartilage and bone now so you can see here when vitamin d is available in small quantities it promotes bone calcification because it increases osteoblastic activity and bone formation but when it is present in large quantities it causes bone resorption next is action on the kidney it increases you can see here reabsorption of calcium as well as it also increases reabsorption of phosphate but when it is given in the pharmacological doses it cannot increase reabsorption of phosphate so there is increased excretion of phosphate in the urine so you can see this is the summary of action of vitamin d you can see here when plasma calcium level decreases there is increase in the parathyroid hormone secretion parathyroid hormone secretion increases which acts on the kidney and it increases conversion of 25 hydroxycholecalciferol into 125 dihydroxycholecalciferol you can see here and there is the active form of vitamin d vitamin d increases plasma calcium level by action on the bones you can see here increases bone resorption also it increases absorption from intestine calcium absorption from intestine and decreases urinary excretion of calcium now here is the difference between action of parathyroid hormone and 125 dihydroxycholecalciferol that is vitamin d stimulus for secretion of parathyroid hormone that is decrease serum calcium only whereas for vitamin d stimuli they are decrease serum calcium decrease serum phosphate as well as increase parathyroid hormone actions parathyroid hormone increases resorption whereas vitamin d increases resorption when it is in large amount but increases formation when it is in small amount kidneys parathyroid hormone increases reabsorption of calcium but decreases phosphate reabsorption whereas vitamin d increases reabsorption of both calcium and phosphate in the intestine actions are similar both of them they increase calcium absorption so what is what are the ultimate effects of vitamin d and parathyroid hormone parathyroid hormone increases serum calcium but it decreases serum phosphate whereas vitamin d increases serum calcium as well as phosphate what are the other effects of vitamin d vitamin d receptors they are also found in the skin lymphocytes monocytes breast and anterior pituitary gland and vitamin d has an important role in the differentiation of immune cells as well as keratinocytes in the skin 
Also, it is important for regulation of growth as well as production of growth factors. And therefore, when there is vitamin D deficiency, there is increased incidence of infection. Vitamin D stimulates T helper 2 cells and increases secretion of interleukin 4 tumor growth factor beta. And it stimulates T helper 1 cells to decrease production of interleukin 2 gamma interferon and tumor necrosis factor alpha. Vitamin D decreases proliferation of T and B lymphocytes and synthesis of immunoglobulins by B lymphocytes. Vitamin D stimulates calcium transport into the skeletal as well as cardiac muscle and therefore vitamin D deficiency results in muscle weakness and cardiac dysfunction. So this is all about vitamin D. Thank you.